And my voice is going, oh, but God is looking at you as if you're the only one in the room. As if you're the only one in Houston, Texas. As if you're the only one in America. As if you're the only one in the world. <coughs> as if there'll never be another one like you. Because if we look from eternity past to eternity future, guess what? There's never another one like you. So Jesus takes himself and he gives this man purpose. We talk about the vision-driven life. We talk about the purpose-driven life. We talk about having a life of calling, a life of destiny. But you'll never know who you were called to be until you let Jesus get involved. We see here awesome picture, and my time is about up, but an awesome picture of Jesus involved in a man's life. Jesus giving the man purpose. Jesus opening up the man's ears. And somebody read 34 on down to 37. We're going to see. And looking up to heaven, he sighed, said unto him, that is, be open. And straightway his ears were open, and the string of his tongue was loosed, and he spoke plain. And he charged them that they should tell no man, but the more he charged them, so much the more, a great deal they published it, and were beyond measure astonished, saying, he had done all things well. He make it both the deaf to hear and the dumb to speak. I pray that the Holy Spirit is dealing with you and ministering to you. He said, he's done all things well. Not substandard, not mediocre. Was perfection. Some symbols of that was he opened up our ability to hear magnificent things of God and he allows us to communicate with purpose. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for another moment, another time, another day to visit and to share your word. Lord, continue to empower us. Continue to open and cleanse the wax from our ears. And Father God, will you touch our tongues so that we can perpetually speak purpose over our lives. Lord, it's in the mighty name of Jesus. You all say it. Amen. Amen.